guys, <clears throat> it's Roseanne White here for a happy Easter workout. And I've been using my Luma, Luma Nova Pro today all week because I've been losing my voice. So I'll take this guy off. It's been a lifesaver. I'm so glad I have this to do some red light therapy on my chest and my th neck and throat. So if you're not familiar with this product, I think we've launched it recently. Check it out. This guy is a lifesaver. I've been using it for the past several days, and I really feel it's helped me to um, get a little stronger. So welcome, welcome. Hello, Diana. I'm glad you could be here. Can you guys see me okay? I hope you can hear me okay. I know the voice isn't quite there yet, but it's coming. Um, yeah, so the... Luminova Pro, check it out, guys, if you haven't you got any. Also, it's great for uh, any spots, age spots, and things like that on your neck. So, yeah, um, this is a great product for lots of reasons, but this is not why you're here today. We are going to work out for a pre-workout for Easter, a post-workout for Easter, or an anytime workout. And it's basically a little bit more on hit intervals, meaning... We're gonna do a one minute of intensity. We're gonna kind of bring it down. One minute of intensity, bring it down. And I've got the not, not real complicated moves for sure. I'm gonna be using, and I think you could see here, I'm using, I better move this off the side, the waiver, my horizon, and I'm gonna use some dumbbells. That's really all I'm gonna to use today. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. I feel like I need to adjust it a little bit more. There we go. Oh, technology, you gotta love it, right? So, <clears throat> that's it, better, I can see. So I'm gonna put the workout in the uh, chat. I'm gonna do it after. Every time I put it in the chat, uh, when I'm on the live, it kind of gets jumbled up. So I'll put it in after. But um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, type them in. I'll try to answer them. But, you know, I can only focus on so many things at once. Um, and uh, if you don't have the Horizon Balance Trainer, maybe you have the AeroStep instead. That's cool. Um, you might want to use that. Whatever vibration platform you have, perfect. Um, if you don't have the PowerFlow dumbbells, maybe you want to use a kettlebell from the Triform system. All good. If you have no weights at all, just use your arms. But this whole idea is for you to move and groove. I don't play music, so it's going to be up to you to put on some of your favorite tunes. You know, I, I like to do holiday workouts only because, you know, holidays we do a little a little more indulging. I'm going to put my heart rate on my arm. We like to indulge. I was actually at the grocery store yesterday, and I'm so bummed. They're out of black jelly beans. So... I don't know about you guys. Anyone have a favorite kind of color jelly bean? Like, I love black jelly beans. And I should have bought them when I saw them last week. And I'm like, no, I'll wait. Dang it. So my husband and I are going up today. And I'm in search of my jelly beans. I also like Peeps. He likes to um, get them, like, uh, air them out so they're hard. I like them nice and soft. But do you guys like Peeps? I love them. I don't know if this is going to stay on. So I'm going to take this off for the workout. Now, uh, make sure you have plenty of water because we'll take breaks. Oh, you do like the black ones? Yeah. How, how could you not like the black ones? I'll tell you. Um, so, Power Flow, Dumbbells, Vibration Platform, Horizon Balance Trainer. And we're going to start with a warm-up, and I'm going to start my timer. My warm-up is just going to be anything you want to do. And I have, there might, you might hear some sounds. But I'm going to put my vibration platform on. You're not going to really be on this a full 10, 15 minutes completely. We're on and off. So because this workout might be a, a little long, remember, you can always stay off. If you're new to vibration platform training and don't want to be on too long, stay off. It's okay. You know, you can always come off. I like to set my platform, the mini. Nine is my favorite program. But that's just me. You pick one that you like. If you like manual speed, do that. But for a warm-up, all I want you to do 
like always, is breathe, okay? Soft knees, inhale, interlace your fingers, stretch it out, bend side to side. How'd you like to work out yesterday, the arms and um, abs workout? I'm kind of sore from that. Okay, we're going to stretch side to side, just little movements. We're going to roll the shoulders, bend the knees, loosen up the joints, breathing in and out. A little bit of rotational work, twisting. <clears throat> My workout's a little old school. We're going to do some V-steps, some side lunges, some step-ups. Oh, you know what else you need? I just realized this as I was reading my notes. You're going to need a, a band, okay? So one of your bands, too. I know I have my red one around here. I don't know what I did with it. Dang it. Hopefully I'm going to find it. But so all we're doing is loosening up or warming up. So warm-ups don't have to be intense. They're about you moving joints. We want synovial fluid to, to get warm so our joints are nice and lubricated and our muscles feel lengthened out and stretched. Breathe. So whatever feels good for you guys, okay? Heart rates are going to eventually come up. we got one more minute. The knees can be bending. You can put your hands here. I'm looking around like I know my... My band is somewhere. Oh, I might have taken that in another room. This is fine. Use whatever band works for you. And then come on up. Roll your ankles out a little bit because we are going to be on the balance trainer. You see I have shoes on for this. You could go barefoot, but no socks because you're going to be on that balance train, jumping around a little bit. And I want to make sure that you're good with that. Okay. Roll it the other way. And then I'm going to set this aside a little bit. I'm going to move this a little bit. I want you to pick up um, a 5-pound or 10-pound weight. Okay, we're going to start with our first interval. You can hold the weight however you want. I'm going to hold it like this. We're going to go into... Five seconds. We're going to go into left leg leads. Leads out, out, in, in. So this is how we start. Okay, we're going to add squat, press. Left leg up, out, out, squat, press. Take your time. You don't have to go fast. Out, out, squat, press. If you're, not, if you're kind of balanced channels, pause, press. You can even push up. Okay, left, right, squat, press. Right there. Halfway there. Okay? Take your time. If I'm too fast for you. 20 seconds. Down, down, up, up. Press. You don't have to do the whole squat or the whole press. What works for you? One more. Five seconds. I lied. One more now. And up. There you go. Okay, first set. Heart rate's up a little bit? Yeah. You got 30 seconds to relax. Relax, shake it out. Next one is the horizon balance. Five pound weight. You're going to do a lunge. Left leg. Five seconds. High knee, I'm sorry, high knee tap. Okay? So... We're going to go high knee, tap, 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 okay? That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing with this, tap. Now, if you like this, stay with it. Otherwise, squat, tap, squat, oops, tap, squat, tap. That little bit of instability here. There. This is a little bit of a core work. I have a little bit of rotation. High knee on that. I'm bearing weight onto the standing leg. So the quicker I move, more heart rate comes up. Left leg is active. Right leg is stable. Five seconds. Five seconds. You heard the lady. Whew. Okay, on the vibration platform, 
I'm gonna go, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be left leg on. I'm gonna go for a 10 pound weight, okay? Five seconds. Side lunge. So here's what I do. I rotate and I row. I'm gonna rotate down. My shoulders are facing my foot and I come upright row. Hinge from the hips. If this weight is too much for you, go lighter. Hinge, I'm pushing into this leg now. Before I was lifting up, now I'm weight bearing. <sighs> Big stretch in the right inner thigh. Halfway there. Halfway there. Feel your obliques. <sighs> your arm could be out on this to rotate like that. It's a little side lunge. Big exhale. Five seconds. One more. Heart rate's definitely up. Everything comes down. Okay. We're going to be on the uh, Halfway there. platform. We'll try this. Let's do this. So I've got lateral arm band, right? I'm going to step up, back. Actually, I'm just go wide. Left leg up, knee up. Okay, so it's a step up with lateral arm. You can pull that knee all the way up, tap, lift on the side. I'll bring my whole body up with me. When I kick the leg out, go for it. Add a little more into it. You decide, guys. Your road, your ride. Maybe just do a tap. You want to jump it up and down. Right? <laughs> It gets intense. It's all left leg leading. Oh, that's a little too much. <laughs> so I start to punch out here. Done. Whew. Okay. Heart rate comes down. I only have 30 seconds. We're going to go over the top, over the top hops. I love this one. Five seconds. No weight. Okay, so I'm going to start left side. Over the top. Over the top. Hop. Say a little hop in the middle. Hop. This is a little bit of old school, right? Step aerobics. <laughs> You can do this kind of step bench. I don't know about the vibration platform. I'd be very careful. Halfway there. Oh, I am huffing and puffing a little bit more. This is the laryngitis. And my heart rate's almost anaerobic. I like it. Burning calories, burn fat. Five seconds. Here we go. Oh. All right. Let's just move around. We've got bicep curls. So you're on your platform. Halfway there. These are around the world bicep curls. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Five seconds. I'm gonna, I'm going five. I'm going five on this because I've been doing a lot of arm work. So up, 
and out. Remember, I've got a minute of this. Out, soft knee bend. See my elbows? And make sure you come all the way down, all the way up. This gives me a chance to get my heart rate down. Halfway there. The blood pumping in my arms. Just a few more. Remember, light grip, please. Use the breath. Straight down, straight up. Five seconds. And down. We're back to the band. We're going to be doing a tricep press. So I'm back here, right? Okay. I'm going to sit on my... My uh, platform. You can sit on the, the dome if you want. It's totally okay to do that. It's going to be an oblique crunch, Five okay? Seconds. So I'm going to crunch, okay? So watch this. I'm going to crunch and come up. Crunch. I'm rotating to my el elbow to my knee as I bring it back up. So this hit interval, a little more strength. Tuck the chin. I think the elbow band actually was the right choice. Halfway there. When I was coming up with this workout, I didn't do it for a minute. The up, crunch back, the other heels on the ground. If you feel sturdy enough to keep the knees up and rotate, there's another option. Ooh, <laughs> that's hard. I'm gonna keep my knee down. I just did Pilates this morning. Five seconds. I got enough core work in. <sighs> One more. <sighs> so look at that, guns, tries, shoulders, okay? Other side, we're gonna repeat. Right leg leads, um, oh, actually I'm sorry, hop over the top, stand right. to repeat, okay? Hop over the tops, just like we did before. Got me there, yeah, perfect. You see. Five seconds. Okay, so left leg leads. We're over the top, hop. Want you to stick around, because at the end, I've got five core exercises I want to share with you with Horizon Balance Trainer. Okay, so stay with me to the end of this or fast forward to the end and catch it. Halfway there. It's really good to her. If it's too much, step up, step, smaller arms. It still works. I take a big step away. Right? Option for everybody. Five seconds. Okay. One more set. Obliques. Other side. Okay, I'm going to go on the balance trainer for this one. Come around. Halfway there. Getting my band. So when I sit on the dome, I'm kind of the front Five of the dome, seconds. not quite on top. Okay, I'm holding the band on my shoulder. I'm gonna C curve back. Feel the shoulders rotate and punch. Little C curve. Full extension of that tricep if you want it to work. So we've got a diagonal crunch. And a tricep press. Isn't that great? Or tricep. Did you call it kickback? Yeah. I gotta change the weight of that. Feel that connection right here. And up. 
I'm punching my knuckles away. I definitely can't balance on this. I know I've tried one more or a few more. And keep that knee up and Five extend seconds. and twist. Ooh, yeah. How about it? Okay. So we've got everything on the right side. We won't, we won't repeat the hop overs anymore. I'm going to put my platform on. Manual. Halfway there. So I'm just going to go manual on this. Five seconds. And I'm at about 55. Okay. 10 pounds. V-step. Right leg leads. Okay. Up, up, squat. Down, down. Oh, I did wrong. <laughs> right, right. Down. Right, right. Up, up. You do a little baby squat. You can even add the weight like this. Squat up. There's an option. I keep doing that wrong leg. Right, left. Squat, press. Got the idea? Right, left. Right, left. Squat, press. I have to say it out loud. Clearly, my left likes to lead. So hold the weight any way that works for you. Squat. Up. Five seconds. One more time. Okay, cool guys. Five second release. That one went quick. Way there. Bicep or high knee taps with rotation. I had a five pound weight. Five seconds. Right leg taps. Okay. So I'm going to come up, tap, tap. So if you think of wood chopper move, tap. And remember, I added to this good squat, tap, squat, tap. a little rotation, nothing crazy, but it's my shoulders that are, it's not arms, I'm not moving my arms, my shoulders, right, so I'm pulling, that little squat is totally your call, got 15 seconds here, Last three, two, one. Okay, grab a little water. Side lunges. I don't know why that keeps making noises. Upright row, side lunge, upright row. Halfway there. 10 pounds for me. Okay. How are you liking this? Good? Keeping you going? Yeah. Five seconds. Heart rate's kind of sustained. So you set it up where you're going to bend into this, right? So when I bend, I can bring my arm up, thumb up, and row. My thumb is out. Okay, thumb up, and row. Hinge. You can always put your hand on your belly or your back. Tip. Lift. You want that side lunge, right? And up. Watch my back flap. Hinge and row. Halfway there. Exhale up. Inhale down. Press into that platform leg. I kind of like that rotation here. Pull, head turns two. Five seconds. I think it makes it more challenging, your arms up. Okay. One more. 
exercise. And then basically the routine's complete. Okay, so halfway there. It was really all of maybe about a 20 minute workout, not including a cool down and stretch. So now I'm V stepping, um, lateral band, right? So it's right, I'm stepping, right step up, up, step up, punch out. Step up, right leg. Get a little hop up, hop down, hop up, hop down. You decide how much you want. But I want that arm, hands to be lower than the shoulder. Halfway there. So I start to punch out the hands in front of my shoulder joint, not behind. All up, all the way down. Do you see how my left leg wants to take over? It's crazy. Five seconds. One more. And you're done. Okay. Stop that guy. Timer. So, again, about a 20 minute workout. Let your heart rate come down. I'm gonna shut off the platform. And we're gonna do one, two, three, five core exercises using the balance trainer. Still, I'm not gonna kid you, it's still gonna be strengthening arms. I say it's core, but it's really core and shoulders. Move this guy out of the way. Don't need the band. Get my heart rate down a little bit. There you go. It comes down pretty quickly. Move my camera down a little bit more. Let's do this. Move my camera down. Hang on, guys. Come on down with me. There we go. So you can see me closer. Ah, much better. Much better. Okay, I want you to see this. Okay, we're gonna start with plank rocks. Flip over your balance trainer. It's got some texture here. I like hands wide. Some people like hands here. You decide. Okay, spread your fingers wide. You're gonna be in a plank position and you come side to side all the way. Now, I wanna try not to move my whole body like I just did. It's just my shoulders. My hips stay still. You can be on knees, not gonna be as effective. All the way. So if my left hand is down, my right foot is really working. Sit on my left leg. Right hand down, my left leg works. Just so you know, that's the cross angle. We're gonna do two more each side. Slow and steady. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And then shake it out, okay? So the next one is a traveling shoulder tap. Now, in this one, you're at the dome side, okay? What you wanna do, hoping you can see me on this. Yeah, you should, okay? I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna be on my toes, okay? I'm gonna tap over, over, tap over, over, tap over, tap over, over. Now, if you wanna be on your knees for this, probably, but again, I need you to start planning on getting on your toes. One more each way. 
about that? Whew. So brings my heart rate up. <coughs> so the next <clears throat> exercise, you could have a weight or your squishy ball. I think personally, I'm liking the five pound weight. Okay. So all we're going to do this actually you can probably do 10 pounds here right now. This is gonna help you anchor into your upper abs. Okay, so I, my spine is curved. Can you see that a C curve? Okay. We're gonna tap, tap. Get that like a tabletop. Switch in space. In space. So eventually both legs are off at a split second. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ten reps. Should do it. Okay. Next exercise. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. <clears throat> we gave our arms a break, but not now. We're gonna go scissor legs. My fingertips point toward the dome or toward the balance ringer. There's a bent elbow. I'm not straight arms. I want a bent elbow. Be on your finger pads. Bring your legs up. Find your sweet spot. Okay. One leg down, one leg up. And switch. You should feel the weight right on that dome. Stretch those legs out. Slow control, three. I'm actually really light in my hands. Four, five, use your breath and count with me. Six, seven, strong straight legs. Eight, nine, and 10. Whoo! Not for the weak of heart, right? <laughs> okay. I've got one more exercise out of the series. It's a side plank hip lift. So this is pretty important, guys. You've got to really watch that shoulder to elbow alignment. I'm using the logo as my reference. A little sweaty. And then when I lay down, I want my hips to be in line. Right now, it's my shoulder. I'm going to push away. I'm going to have you... Bring one leg and top leg straight, okay? Bottom knee underneath. So you're gonna be one long line here. Okay, that's probably for everybody right now. Stay there. We can add on to this. We can do both legs, okay? But it's a lift, okay? Neutral to lift. For right now, I want you to be neutral and lift. So feel the ribs lifting. Look at that shoulder. My head drops. And I don't drop my hips any lower than neutral, but I lift. And this is big time oblique. Got four more. Last one. Okay. Ten should be pretty darn good. If ten is a piece of cake, go slower. Okay. I don't want you to like over overuse it put too much pressure on just slow and steady okay set it up shoulder hips and then top leg so I'm in one long line I'm going to keep this knee underneath that's kind of harder to do but you're going to push up okay so here you go here's my neutral hip knee okay could be your hand on the hip to feel that lift and lift. Now this side feels easier for me for some reason today. I don't know why. So I'm gonna go to this. Let's go six, five, four, make sure your head goes back. Three, two, and one. Yeah, that was so weird. This side was a lot easier. And then just take a child's pose or a puppy pose, stretch back. 
Take one hand on top, look underneath, weave it. Oh, get that nice stretch in your lats, in your back. Come on back, weave it under. Oh, I can stay here for a while. And then come all the way up. Roll yourself up nice and slow. Oh, I lost you there. Okay, guys. A, probably a total of like 30 minutes for actually exercising. Turn camera. Okay. How'd you like that? So I hope it was helpful for you. Okay. Um, I, let's see. Do I have any announcements? So make sure that you check out the reviews, the review contest. You're welcome, Diana. Um, I know by the time I get on live, all the reviews are in for the week, but I think they start at the beginning. Debbie is going to be on Monday for a after holiday stretch on the vibration platform. So if you worked out with me uh, Friday and today, day off, Easter, enjoy those jelly beans. You earn them. Um, and then stretch with Debbie. Start your week out. And I hope these were helpful, guys. Please let me know what you want more of. I've been in this business for over 25 years, moving people's bodies. Um, I've dealt with injuries. I, I, I know injury um, from active aging adults, rehabbing. Um, Amber, Debbie and I come into this group with a lot of different experiences and knowledge, and we're here to help you to live fit and age well. So happy Easter. Um, I have one more live thing to do, and I'm done for the day. I'm going to rest my voice. I'll see you guys next Wednesday, April. Um, I'm not sure what I have going on yet, but I have some things cooking. So if you need anything, let me know because I'm developing it now. Bye for now, guys. Happy Easter.